So you are on your productivity journey and want to get the best app for the least amount possible. Well, I've got it for everyone based on the usage. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and before getting to the video, if at any point you want to check them out, then you can do so from the description below. Getting started, up front we have Napkin. As the name suggests, it's kind of an app which is super fast and handy to use. But if you have too many, anything can come up. This is a new approach inspired by our daily activities and it's focused on people who are usually bombarded with ideas. They can save an idea immediately and then brainstorm a lot later. So essentially you can just copy what you are reading and send it over to your account via Chrome extension. The same is possible on the phone. The note will automatically be tagged as well, makes it easy to recognize the content. After which, once you log in, you are flashed with some relevant and random napkins which of course you can look up using tags etc also pages with same tags are drawn once you look up for a specific idea so this is amazing if i were to use it for my ideas i'm sure that this new way of productivity is soon going to be a mainstream and is highly useful for students creators artists and readers if you like it you can find it from the link in the description for a 50 percent or more discount on annual plan so do check it out the next app is focused on people who are like da vinci Give a thumbs up if you know. It's Ample Note. The app solves four problems at once and it's designed specifically so that we can make our head free of thoughts by jotting them down. Then afterwards, when we are ready, we can create a note or task out of it and then even schedule whatever we want in the calendar. This approach is different again as well because a lot of times I'm in a hurry and want to put down a lot of things without much thinking that can be sorted afterwards and put to work rather than setting everything in a different app. Also, tags can be attached to the tasks notes etc to connect each other which then can be located together just by clicking on the created tag the app has an extension to make the work further handy and holds a lot of features even with all these features the app is priced nominally i would suggest the unlimited plan check it out from the description below third app caters nicely to people who are constantly in meetings and have to manage thoughts along with time and schedule what not right reflect is the app that you want right now that solves all these issues the interface says a lot as you get the notes on the front and on the right you can see the calendar along with the ability to create tasks on dates whatever you put down can be pinned and shared privately each date comes simultaneously so you don't have to worry about changing a page or anything it sorts everything Tag feature is also there and because of tags, these notes get automatically mapped with each other, thus by creating a mind map for you. No confusing plans and add-ons, simply $10 a month. Do check it out from the description for discounts. Last one to jump on is Upnotes. It's more like a journaling app where you can make different classes of your notes known as notebooks. So your professional, vocational and other lives are separated. You get the usual to-do taskbar, work tab. The to-dos are the notes tab where you can highly customize your note or journal using rich formatting capabilities. Differentiate quotes from normal writing. The main point differentiating this app is it works beautifully offline as well. Advanced features like focus mode, backup version history, password protection to apps, the Chrome extension, sticky window are not usual to find in apps together. The app is available on all platforms and has software dedicated to even Linux. Alongside tags, you can create backlinks for your existing notes. I find it similar to Notion which is priced really high in this category. This one is just for $30 for a lifetime plan or even $99 a month. Again, you can find that in the description. Overall, all these apps were nice and had different use cases which I hope I have highlighted. Don't worry, there are some more in the upcoming videos based on different use cases. We will be also looking into apps like Heptabase. So subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss any. That's it for today. Now, if you are looking for an awesome browser, then you must watch this video right here and you can watch my recent video from here. Like, share, subscribe, stay safe, bye-bye.